right guys welcome back to the channel my name is Matt and today we're gonna uh, we're gonna check out something I've been pretty excited for um, something that I've wanted for a little while but I um, I always miss their uh, the batch releases or uh, I couldn't get to the website in time because of work and stuff like that so today we're gonna be checking out the monarch by Aspen Modco um, this one's name is carnage because they um, they name their their monarchs. They don't they don't uh, serialize them, and uh, yeah, this thing is uh, it's it's really a work of art. You're probably gonna hear that a lot. Um, so yeah, I can't even begin to explain everything about this mod. Um, there's just it's it's great. It leaves you speechless, as you can tell. Like I'm speechless, and this thing. This thing is awesome. Uh, if you guys know, red and black is, I mean, you can see it over there. My microphone, you can see, is red and black. Like, red and black is just, it's my color. You know, it's my colors. So, yeah, this is Carnage. Let's, uh, let's dive down. I'll show you what it comes with when you buy one of these Monarchs. And um, then we'll, uh, we'll start checking out the inside, the top assembly, and all of that. All right, let's get down there. All right, guys, so here we are down low. Um, this is everything you're pretty much going to get. So you're going to get, you know, an envelope with the uh, with the mech mod's name on it. You get this um, this little uh, pull string bag here that's going to have your actual Monarch in it. And, of course, your Monarch is in a uh, bubble wrap when you get that. So just going to set that aside. Um, now, I don't know if they're going to do this with every ones or how long they're going to do it uh, as far as every batch release, but mine came with a sample pack of uh, Cotton Bacon Prime, um, some Coil Turd Aliens, which, uh, by the way, I'm just going to say are awesome. Um, you get your Certificate of Authenticity, so this was uh, batch number 12. It tells you the name is Carnage, and then you get um, Josh. He's him and Ruby Roo. Um, it's their company. He's, you know, the mod maker. Um, and it says, This monarch was lovingly handmade for us by you. We have named your mod for you because artwork is named, not numbered. That's nice. They give you uh, two battery wraps. You know, they're, uh, they have a nice little motto. It's uh, simplicity, safety, and uh, I'm forgetting the last one. But, um, yeah, so they give you a couple battery wraps. That's awesome. They actually gave me two stickers, um, you know, their logo, Aspen Modco. I just, I already put one on my uh, my table where I slap stickers. So that was that. Um, excuse the squeaky microphone arm, just trying to get situated here. So, um, yeah, here's your little envelope that's going to have some more uh, information in here for you. Now, what you're going to get in here is basically it's... Um, it's a little bit of reading material. Um, I'm not going to read every single little bit of it because uh, it's just too long. But um, you get some uh, you get some warnings. Um, I'm just going to read just the beginning here. Um, Thanks so much for purchasing um, a Monarch Mart. We believe in beauty, simplicity, and safety. Yeah, so that's the other one. So beauty, simplicity, and safety is their their motto. Um, they're handmade in Colorado. They have a passion for direct current, which is why their first endeavor had to be an unregulated um, mechanical mod. Uh, they're saying through ground up engineering and creativity, the Monarch was born. Uh, thanks again for your support. And then um, gives you a little warning about using mech mods. You know, know your Ohm's law. Um, do not build your, uh, you know, your atomizer lower than your batteries can handle. You know, just the safety of you know, making sure your battery wraps are, are beautiful and they, they give you two battery wraps, which is great. Um, tells you that uh, it's handmade from natural materials, um, so, you know, minor defects may occur. Uh, woods have knots, um, uh, leads to pitting in the resin, um, but yeah. And then it, it, they give you like a full, a straight up like a full description on um, on how to take it apart, or well, it tells you what it's what it's made out of. Um, so it's stabilized wood or or hybrid component um, resin. The button is made uh, now on some of the other monarchs. I'm sure you've probably seen some. Um, it's got you know more of a stabilized wood aspect to it, and then the button was wood, especially on some of their earlier batch releases. Um, so it just says that the button was made from the same block of wood or resin as the base. So as you can tell, this this button here is, you know, from the same block, which is awesome. Um, the top assembly, we'll take it apart and look at it, but I'll just read a little bit about it right now. Um, 
Uh, it's machined and hand polished brass top piece or aluminum or this aluminum that is the black anodized. Um, uh, what else? I don't know if I want to read every single little bit of this because kind of what I'm doing, but it tells you what the base assembly is made from, the top assembly is made from. Um, it goes on on the next page here to tell you how to disassemble the base and the top, and then how to uh, how to how to make adjustments um, and uh, how to reassemble it, which is awesome. And then right at the bottom, which is great, you can email them or they even give you a number to call it if you have any uh, any questions. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. All right, so we uh, got ourselves resituated here. So now let's look at the actual uh, at the actual monarch itself. So the uh, the monarch itself, um, I'll give you the quick dimensions. Um, 91 and a half in uh, height. We got 51 and a half width, and then uh, it's 27 at the top. So anything. Um, Anything under, you know, 27, I mean 24, 25, actually the Turk, I have the Turk V2 with the 25 millimeter um, AFC barrel section on it and it just looks great on here. Um, so yeah, anything under 27 should sit right on here and look fine. Um, so this is a dual 2700 mechanical mod, uh, box mod, and it's got a self-adjusting Veritu V2 510 connection which means down in here as you you can see that that uh, is moving down there so as you screw in your um, your RDA and hopefully this doesn't leak when I flip it upside down to kind of show the camera but as you screw in your RDA I don't know if you'll really be able to tell maybe if I hold it like this you will um, you can see those uh, once you reach a certain point you can see those contacts start to raise up um, yeah, I don't know if you were really able to see that raise, but those are pretty raised up now. Um, so yeah, which is really cool. So anytime you screw in an RDA, um, those contacts, the copper contacts are going to raise up to make contact with the battery. Um, and then obviously depending on your, on your 510 connection and the way that your contacts are you may have to uh, may have to push them down a little bit if they're making uh, too much contact with the batteries and you literally can't slide on the top assembly or um, if they're you know not making contact at all you can um, you can just bend each side up a little bit nothing crazy but you can just give it a little bend um, so like I said the contacts are copper you can see your copper contacts the negative down there um, and then it goes through this white insulator and runs back up here to your fire button and uh, as you click that You can see that it moves forward and then it will make contact here and complete the circuit um, So yeah, definitely gonna say, you know, know your ohms law. This isn't this isn't a, a plug-and-play uh, Type thing like most of the regulated devices are I mean, you know, you should still know a, a general idea of things before you go using anything of course um, but as far as you know these compared to other stuff you know this isn't something to just you know grab and, and start going at it definitely need to know your stuff um, crazy easy battery access as you can already see you just slide off your top assembly here um, let's see if I can slide it back on so you just literally just give a little push like that top assembly comes off your your batteries and parallel batteries which I think is awesome um, so I'm sure there's quite a few videos out on the Monarch so parallel it's not series so these batteries are gonna share the load you're still gonna get 4.2 volts or whatever volts that you're actually gonna get after battery sag and uh, and everything else um, like I said solid copper contacts it is made in Colorado by um, Ruby Roo and Josh Josh is um, is the mod maker as it says on the uh, on the certificate um, these top caps um, and the earlier batch releases I, kn I know that they were all like the polished brass um, but then you have the polished aluminum on some of the mods and then this is the uh, the black anodized aluminum um, like I mentioned earlier the bodies are all made out of uh, stabilized wood and resin um, and they're uh, hand sanded and polished by Josh himself. As you can see, let's talk a little more about, about what we got going on here. These are rolling ball bearings that uh, they just click into place. Um, so nice right there. And you can see that this is milled out and um, 
it's very light everything even when you have a couple of uh, batteries in here it is uh, it's crazy light um, so one thing another to mention the um, the fire button is uh, magnetic so you can pop that right out and um, I'm sure you could uh, you know I don't really know if you can I was gonna say I'm sure you could pop another fire button in I don't really know how you could go about getting another fire button but um, if you ever wanted to you know take your fire button out um, anything magnetic make it pop right out super clicky I don't know if you'll be able to really see what's what's going on back there but um, I don't really I, I know on Ruby Roo's channel if you want to see this thing completely torn apart you can check out um, Ruby Roo or vaping bogan they literally tear it apart I don't want to tear it apart but let me just say behind this fire button there is uh, there's some sweetness going on there's there's some uh, some cool things happening that make this thing so clicky and you can really tell like that is a very clicky fire button so you have an insulator an insulator um, there's some 3d printed components going on here and uh, yeah I don't really know what too much what else to say about this like I said I'm not gonna tear it apart um, on the bottom here you can see the Aspen Modco uh, logo which is nice um, it's nice to have a little bit of their branding on it but it's nice that it's not like right on the side or you know what I mean because it doesn't take away from the beauty of the mod itself it allows them to be um, what's the word I'm looking for it allows them to still be like obviously acknowledged in the piece or um, or I'm sure you guys know the word that I'm looking for so yeah I what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I got the Turk whoop. Okay, well, I guess we're not. Uh, I got the Turk V2. Uh, the Coil Turd Aliens are in here. And um, we're going to go ahead and screw that on. We have some... Oh, what are these again? These are some Sanyo's um, NCR 2070Cs. You can check out Battery Mooch um, for... He has the latest the latest test results and stuff for what are the best batteries, what you should be using, what you shouldn't be using, and so to speak. And um, he's just... He's great, so... I use him before I buy batteries for anything and always make sure you're buying from a legitimate battery site um, and if you don't know the difference between a legitimate battery and something that seems like it's a knockoff just check out battery mooch so like I said coil turd aliens in here they're omen out at uh, 0.13 let's go back up top we'll give it a vape we'll talk about it a little more and uh, yeah alright guys so we are back up on top here with the monarch and uh, the Turk V2 on top, I am dripping some Lava Luau. And uh, the build that's in here, like I said, the Coil Turd Aliens that are provided. One second, coffee. Ah, gotta have a coffee. Great, so um, yeah, the Coil Turd Aliens in here are oming out at 0.13. Um, we're getting 4.2 volts out of the... Um, the two 2700s that are in here, of course, so we're getting right around 135 watts, um, if I'm correct, if my math is correct, which I'm pretty sure it is, and uh, let's give it a few, few vapes. And I forgot to mention that I, I love this, uh, this RDA because of the, uh, the insane amount of airflow that you get out of it. As you can see, it's like, I don't want to say a, like half, m maybe almost half, but yeah, right around there. Um, and this thing just it hits hard this thing hits really hard I can tell I'm about to get a dry hit so I'm going to drip a little bit more um, I'm almost out of this stuff I've been, uh, I've been vaping this stuff like crazy I actually usually when I get like a, um, a vape box you can check out any of those videos if vape box interests you um, but every time I get a vape box I just kind of like vape through the liquid and whichever one I like the most I tend to kill first and that was that's definitely this stuff but um back to this beautiful thing so yeah um, carnage red and black hits crazy hard let's talk a little bit about um about price point um so the price point is going to run you on their website they do batch releases on fridays and obviously not all of them have the black anodized you they kind of um i think they basically they just choose what what they think um looks good you obviously have you have the option now um 
I just saw a tweet uh, in an Instagram post the other day that you can, on their website now, they do carry the black anodized aluminum and the polished aluminum top assembly. So if you bought one of these and you're like, you know, this would look way better with the polished aluminum top assembly, you can go right on their website and you can, um, you can get one now, which is great. Um, so, yeah. What was I? What, what was I? What was I going on about? Yeah, price point. So this is not a um, this is not a cheap a cheap mechanical mod. This isn't a twenty five dollar or thirty five dollar RDA that you're like you know what this this looks really good. You can watch all of the reviews you want on all of these. All of these are very special in their own way. Not two of them are the same as far as how they actually look. Um, and and it's just a quality piece. It's a like to me it's like it's. It's a quality piece, but it's also um, it's also like like a collector thing. Like this is awesome. Like I love the little certificate. Like this is this was in batch number twelve. If I didn't if I didn't mention that, and it's just I really I I felt great about purchasing one. I feel like I'm helping out a, um, a you know a family based like home based company here in the U S. That's not. Um, you know, a big Chinese manufacturer like the like Josh makes these things in his house. I mean, I'm sure I, I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures on Instagram of him like, you know, sanding these bad boys in his house, and it's just, it's great. I mean, it's it's really great. So, um, four hundred and twenty-five dollars is what this is gonna run you at. Um, their website is AspenModco.com. I know YouTube's kind of finicky with like links and stuff, so I'm probably not gonna. Uh, uh, put it in the description, but you can check the, both of them out on Instagram, uh, Ruby Roo on Instagram, and then uh, Josh's handle is uh, at Josh the Hand, and um, yeah, four hundred and twenty-five dollars for this bad boy, and um, it's it's great. It feels good in the hand. It like sits great both ways. If you want a clicky, if you want a clicky mechanical. Uh, mechanical mod, I mean fire button, and you want a hard hitting mechanical mod, this is the one. This thing is just great, and um, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. I'm just, I'm very happy with, with my purchase. I waited a while. I was like, I'm going to get one, I'm going to get one. I finally got one. So, very pleased. Thank you, Josh and uh, Ruby. Definitely a, 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 big, a big round of applause. These things are awesome. I hope that they don't stop. I hope they don't stop coming out. Maybe in the future, I kind of hope you guys do like a, uh, although this is just kind of like whatever. I hope you guys do like a 21700 version, maybe way down the road. I mean, 2700 is plenty, plenty of battery life. I mean, I've been vaping this thing like crazy for the last week. And um, at the end of my day, when I put my batteries on the charge, they're both reading about 60 or 65%. So um, plenty of battery life. And uh yeah, I'm not really going to do a pro and con thing because, I mean, this device to me, um, it costed, an, you know, it, it was the, the point of a cost that, like, I purchased this because I like everything about it because I've, I've watched and I've, I've seen other videos and I watched the batch releases and um, I like everything about it. That's why I went out and bought it. Um, it's not really like some of the uh, the smaller things that I purchased to check out to do videos on, you know, thirty five, forty dollar RDAs. You know, obviously it adds up, but like you can you can kind of tear those things apart. You make I like this, but I don't like this. But I like everything about this. But and the only thing that I mentioned was maybe in the future if they do, um, if they're gonna keep doing more of them, maybe they'll do a twenty one seven hundred because I feel like you know this is already it. This is this is pretty big. This isn't huge, huge, but I mean. I don't know all the nitty gritty about it, but I mean, I don't know how much bigger this would have to be to, to put a 21700 or, you know, dual 21700s. I feel like that's pretty realistic, but enough rant, enough, enough going on and going on and going on. Aspen Modco Monarch, if you want to check these beautiful handcrafted USA made mechanical mods that just hit hard and uh, very easy to uh, very easy battery access very easy to take apart and put back together you know go on aspenmodco.com follow them on instagram pay attention to the uh, to the batch release and uh, you know get yours so thanks for watching if you made it to the end thanks for watching um, if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe uh, give this video a like, a comment, a share, whatever you like. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why you liked it, why you didn't in the comments. And uh, turn that bell on so you know every time I post a video, I try and do one or two videos a week. Um, and uh, remember guys, let's keep vaping.